Kian Chang Ying Chang lived safely in the palace. After such a farce in the hall, everyone knew about the close relationship between Yang Kai and Chan Ching La, which made a group of monster race powerhouses envy and jealous at the same time, cursing Yang Kai. In the guest room, Chan Ching La brought Bai Luo to come to see Yang Kai and his little senior sister. Just now there were so many people with mixed eyes, and she didn't say much. Now that she has the opportunity, she naturally wants to tell her heart. Although in the Emperor Garden, Yang Kai already knew many things from Bai Luo, but Yang Kai didn't understand the details very clearly. After talking with Shan Ching La, he knew that when this enchantress had fallen to the monster Emperor Star, she did suffer a lot. She is originally beautiful and naturally charming, and when she came to Monster Emperor Star, her strength was not high, so she would naturally be stared at by many men. If it hadn't been for Lord Kai Yu, who had received her as the adopted daughter, Shan Ching La couldn't tell what her fate now would be like. So to some extent, she was very grateful to Lord Kai Yu. Moreover, since accepting her as the adopted daughter, Lord Kai Yu held her very high, as can be seen from her position in Red Moon territory. People who don't know the truth might think she is a pure monster race. A human race can have a high position in the Red Moon territory is due to the high cultivation level of the Red Moon territory lord. After hearing what Shan Ching La said, Yang Kai also respected the Lord Kai Yu who he had never met before. In short, the foster mother is very good to me. Moreover, because I refine the origin of the heavenly moon demon spider, I can no longer be regarded as human race and cannot be regarded as monster race. Shan Ching Luo said with a smile. Why is that? Yang Kai asked in surprise. Well, half monster. There are such a special group of existence on Monster Emperor Star, but their status is really low, only slightly higher than human race. Half Monster Yang Kai was stunned. Yes, these half monster were born from the combination of the two races of human and monster. They are not recognized by human race and are not accepted by the monster race, so their status is relatively awkward. Shan Ching Law casually explained. The combination of the two races of humans and monsters? On Monster Emperor Star, is this allowed to happen? Of course it is not allowed. Monster Emperor Star is different from other cultivation stars. This star is dominated by the monster race, and the monster race is supreme. How can they tolerate their blood being tarnished by human race? But how to say, sometimes when they love each other, Two people don't care about the worldly vision and the shackles of ethics. That's why a special group of half-monsters was born. Shan Ching La said leisurely, to be honest. I admire these people very much. The Ba He Senior who came here together with you, he has experienced these things. Do you know about Ba He? Yang Ka's eyes lit up. Well, I didn't know it at first. I heard Bright Light Bear said something before. Let's just listen. I'm also very curious about the old man. Yang Kai asked quickly. He heard a lot of rumors about Ba He when he was in Shining Moon City. The strength of this old man is indeed very good. Naturally Yang Kai will be interested. Shan Ching La didn't know much but the reason Ba He had been in the Shining Moon City incognito for 200 years, even changed his appearance and concealed his cultivation level, was related to human race woman. Hundreds of years ago, the old man was the number one general under Lord Caillou. He had extremely high aptitude. He had already cultivated to the third order void return stage and in terms of his attainments, no void return stage could match him. The scenery is infinite for a while, and he is known as the strongest person on the Monster Emperor Star and under the Void King realm. He is also the most hopeful existence of the entire Monster Emperor star to be promoted to the Void King realm. Once he has this achievement, it means that he can sit on an equal footing with Caillou and become a powerful existence at the Lord level. But Ba, he fell in love with a human race woman at first sight when he was at the peak. The monster race are repelling the combination of humans and monsters, let alone a future star like Ba. He. The resistance encountered was naturally greater than anyone else, especially the pressure from Lord Caillou, which made Bahi even more miserable. 
If things really go on like this with Bahi's proud personality, it is very likely that he will betray the monster race. At that time, he will definitely become the target of people from Monster Emperor Star Anger. Lord Chewie also had a terrible headache, and she naturally didn't want to see her most powerful general be driven to such a desperate situation. Out of love for talent, she was even ready to accept the fact that Ba He was allowed to combine with the human race woman. After all, although the two human and monster races cannot be blatantly combined, some strong monster race like to play with human race beauties. This is a normal thing. Which mansion of strong monsters does not have a few human beauties as playthings? It's just that everyone is tacitly aware of it and will not make it public. As long as Bahi can be promoted to the Void King realm, it is nothing to combine with a human race woman. But before she could tell Bahi, the bloody thing happened. The human race woman went violently at the juncture of promotion to a small realm, become devil, and died suddenly. Bahi, who learned the news, was so frustrated, and at the same time furious. He subconsciously believes that the reason why his beloved woman is going into a madness is definitely inseparable from Lord Caillou, perhaps because she secretly moved some hands and feet. So he made a fuss in Half Moon Mountain and went to Chiyu's palace to confront her. No one knows what happened in the palace, but when Lord Chewi came out, she announced that Ba he was ungrateful and committed the following crime and was shot to death by her own hands. Two hundred years after that there was no news from Bahi. Until this time he took the initiative to show up in Shining Moon City. So, Lord Kai you didn't kill Bay, but let him go. Yang Kai said thoughtfully. It should be like this. Shan Ching La nodded slightly. The foster mother is the powerhouse in the Second Order Void King realm. If she really wants to kill Bahi, he will undoubtedly die, and he will never be alive. Yang Kai nodded gently. Yang Kai, Shan Ching Law suddenly called out softly. Yep. You think that human race girl went crazy and died violently after becoming devil? Is there anything to do with the foster mother? How do I know about this? I am afraid that no one but the person involved knows what happened more than 200 years ago. Yang Kai smiled slightly, and suddenly saw the worried look on Shan Ching Lo's face. His heart was moved and asked in a low voice. What are you worried about? Shan Ching La slowly shook her head, forced a smile and said, It's nothing, by the way, you have to be careful of that Mi Tian. I heard that you had a little conflict with him in Shining Moon City, this guy is proud, if you offend him, he will never let it go. Don't worry, he can't do anything to me. Yang Kai smiled proudly. The two had another conversation before Shan Ching La got up and left. Junior brother, what are we going to do next? Shan Ning Chong asked softly after Shan Ching La left. I haven't figured it out yet. Yang Kai grinned, and he tried every means to enter the palace mainly to see how Shan Ching La was doing. Now that everything is fine with her and her status is respected, he naturally feels relieved. Then you want to take elder sister Ching La away? Shan Ning Chong asked again. I didn't think so, but let's see what she wants to do. In fact, I think it would be better for her to stay here. After all, this is a monster emperor star, which is extremely beneficial to her cultivation and future development. N. Shan Ning Chong nodded gently. After hearing about Ba He, she immediately understood that if Yang Kai really insisted on taking Shan Ching La away, it would be difficult. No one knows whether the death of the human race woman who fell in love with Ba He has anything to do with Lord Caillou, but if Lord Caillou really do something secretly, Shan Ning Chang understood why Shan Ching La had a worried look just now, she was clearly afraid that Yang Kai would repeat the mistakes of that human race woman. For the future of her adopted daughter, Lord Che Yui would not mind the death of a human race man. But since we're here, it's natural to search for a batch of unique materials here. Yang Kai looked at Chan Ing Shang with a smile, Little senior sister, I'm afraid I will have to rely on your power. Shan Ching La left the guest room and took Bai Luo straight to Kai Yu's bedroom. She was highly regarded by Che Yui, and was cultivated as a future successor. 
Naturally, no one would dare to stop her walking in the palace. All the monster race martial artists who saw her saluted one after another to show their respect. When she arrived outside the palace, Shan Qingla happened to see a man with broad and sturdy build standing outside the palace with his brows curled up, his body tilted as if he was listening to something. Bright Light Bear. Shan Qingla stepped up and shouted. Hearing the shout, Bright Light Bear quickly turned around, put a finger on his mouth and shushed. What are you doing being so sneaky in front of the foster mother's bedroom? What are you doing? Be careful not to let the foster mother know, or you won't look good. Shan Ching Law frowned and stared at him. Senior Ba, he is being tortured inside. Listen. Bright Light Bear pointed inside with a gossiping expression on his face. Shan Ching Law was surprised, and after listening carefully, she heard a terrible cry from the palace. She couldn't help but turn pale, and asked in surprise, Is the foster mother not willing to forgive Senior Bahi? Although she has never met Bahi, Bahi is in a similar situation with her. If Lord Caillou refuses to let go on Bahi, then her and Yanka's future will be dim. The ending of Bahi was, to a certain extent, a model she wanted to learn from, so Shan Qingla became nervous when she heard Bahi's screams from being tortured inside. She seemed to see young Kes torment in front of her mother. I don't know. The foster mother has always been amiable and seldom angry. She has guided us more than reprimanded us, and has never been punished. Senior Ba, he has been tortured so miserably this time. It seems that the foster mother is really angry. Bright Light Bear smashed his mouth, his ears turned into a pinwheel, and he listened more vigorously. Shan Ching Lo's expression changed, and she was a little more worried, thinking secretly what to say when she saw her mother. To be continued.